Thank you to the Veteran Women's Enterprise Center for inviting me to speak to you all today about this special day and about my work in Congress to support women veterans. As a member of the House Veterans Affairs Committee, I know how important your work is. Not only empowering our veteran women, but creating and sustaining jobs while growing our economy for everyone. And I'm proud to honor our North Texas veterans and their families on this Women's Veterans Day. Our women veterans have put so much on the line to protect our country and defend our freedom, all sometimes in an atmosphere that can be more difficult than for their male counterparts. And today we honor them for their courage and bravery and recommit to trying to serve them as well as they have served us. You know, Texas has the second most women veterans of any state in the country. These women have sacrificed so much for us, and it's our duty, and I see it as my duty in Congress, to continue to support our veterans and their families. That's why I'm trying to honor that commitment by working on legislation that expands opportunities and care for our military veterans and their families, and continue to make one of my top priorities to be ensuring that veterans get the care and benefits that they are owed. I helped secure the Garland VA Medical Center in 2020, introduced legislation to improve transparency at the VA, and helped to pass bipartisan legislation that expands opportunities for service members transitioning back to civilian life. And I'm committed to helping w women veterans and their families across the district. And so I want to give a brief update on some of my work and go through a few topics that I know are important to everyone here in North Texas. In May, the House passed my bipartisan bill to authorize upgrades to VA medical facilities across the country, including continued funding for the Spinal Cord Injury Center here at the Dallas VA Medical Center. My bill will improve and expand VA facilities and deliver additional funding to complete the ongoing Dallas VA project to construct the 30-bed long-term care Spinal Cord Injury Center with the capacity to expand to 60 beds. In addition to providing long-term care for the medical complications of spinal cord injuries and disorders, Veterans who need it can live at the center on a long-term basis, receiving the specialized treatment, staff skills, and equipment that they require. You know, now more than ever, we have to uphold our promise to the brave Americans who've dedicated their lives to fighting for our freedoms. As your representative, I will never stop fighting to make sure the women who have fought for our democracy receive the treatment and respect they deserve, whether that's at a VA facility or in civilian life. On Women's Veterans Day and every day, I'm inspired by the women who made the ultimate sacrifice for our nation, and I will do everything I can to honor their legacies by supporting our veterans and, of course, supporting our troops. To those women business owners and entrepreneurs competing in the pitch competition today, all I can say is good luck. I've had the pleasure of meeting some of our women veteran business owners and have seen firsthand the creativity, care, and dedication that you put into your work. And I know the women here today will bring some innovative ideas for businesses that will help our Texas economy continue to grow and thrive. Thank you so much, and thank you for your service.